My biggest problem when I was a kid was I was interested in everything. I wasn't worried about making money. I wasn't worried about jobs and stuff like that. My goal for my career, first of all, was to be free. And then secondly, to do something that would be very creative and very interesting to me personally. And that was what drove me into academics. At Berkeley, he was the chairman of the top-ranked mechanical engineering department in the country for a number of years. He came there as a student, stayed on as a faculty member, went through many positions at UC Berkeley, and then finally he said, okay, I'm going to become president at University of Maryland. He had a huge impact at the University of Maryland in terms of increasing its rankings and, and, and also enhancing its reputation. And as the president of the NAE, he has also had huge impact in the NAE's trajectory and in the entire engineering community. Among all the visionary scholars that I know, I think Dr. Mo is unique because he is able not only to articulate his vision, but somehow motivate people to act on this vision and his ability to really change the focus of the engineering community and expand it has had a profound impact, not just today, but for decades to come. In 2008, the NAE formed a committee of outstanding engineers and scientists and forward thinkers to come up with what are the grand challenges for the 21st century regarding engineering. These range from making solar energy affordable to reimagining the brain. And what was started when these were finished was something called the Grand Scholars Program. This program inspires undergraduates to pursue not just an engineering degree, but an engineering degree with an impact. This is not about making money. This is not about quick turnarounds in the stock market. It's about serving people in society. And we're spending our time spreading this as fast as possible all over the planet. We have over 125 universities in the United States have adopted this thing. There's not a nickel of money in it, by the way. They adopt it not because anybody's giving them support to do it. They're adopting it because the idea is right. Dan has been at the leadership of this because it's not just a technical issue, it's an economic issue, it's a societal issue. I mean, it encompasses everything because engineering now touches every aspect of life. When I was just a freshman, Dr. Mote would let me go into his lab with him to meet some of his graduate students to learn about what research was. I was just trying to get my grades and get my classes signed off on. But what he was doing was exposing me at an early age to what is possible in the field of mechanical engineering. Dr. Moat, at his heart, is a mentor. Outstanding mentor. He's the father figure for many, many people. You talk with him about engineering, and he'll tell you about his research, he'll tell you about the impact of engineering, but he immediately turns the conversation to you. What research are you pursuing and what direction you are going? What do you want? How can he help you? And that is very rare in a senior engineer. I have come full circle. The person I first met when I came into the academic world was Dr. Mote. Very few people can say that their mentor has helped them over 37 years of their life. This is the United States National Academy of Engineering. It's not the National Academy of Engineers. And that is a huge difference. First, when I was elected to the National Academy of Engineering many years ago, I thought of it more of an honor society. I mean, Dan's enthusiasm for this is, is really contagious. And it really changed my thinking quite a bit. He's the best spokesperson for what is the meaning of engineering. It is about humanity, not just about building things. 
You can describe all of engineering with four words. That's all it takes. One is creation, the second is solutions, the third people, fourth society. All of engineering does that, creates solutions or value, if you like, for people and society. Life is changing, change is accelerating as a matter of fact all the time. And my hope for engineering is that this understanding of engineering's responsibility would be propagated all over the world. I can only see one way right now that that's going to happen, and that is going to happen through the students. That's why the students are so interesting, so exciting, so important, and they are the future.